Well, the last straw for Starbucks, the coffee giant and MGM Resorts have joined the list of companies eliminating plastic straws. Dozens of cities across the nation have already established bans or restrictions on the use of plastic straws in restaurants. Earlier this year, a bill was introduced to ban plastic straws and drink stirrers at restaurants and bars in the five boroughs. Environmentalists say the straws endanger wildlife. Here to tell us more is John Calvelli, director of Wildlife Conservation Society's Give a Sip campaign. John, welcome. Thank you and good morning. And good morning. Tell us about the campaign. Well, first of all, start with one incredible fact. By 2050, there will actually be more plastic in the oceans by weight than fish. Mm. It's an incredible situation, and you look at the impact on wildlife and humans. And wildlife specifically, you're looking at 70% of all seabirds now have plastic, um, and 30% of turtles. There was a unfortunate pilot whale that was killed recently. They found 18 pounds of plastic in its stomach. Mm. This is an epidemic for wildlife, but it's also an epidemic for us because what happens is this plastic is breaking down, and then it ends up being eaten by fish, and who's eating the fish? So there's a whole issue here that we just need to educate people about. So the Give a Sip campaign really came out of the New York Aquarium's work. Uh, the New York Aquarium just opened up a grand, brand new exhibit on sharks, which I hope all New Yorkers go to see. And in there, after this amazing immersive experience, the first thing you see is plastic that we've collected um, on the shores of New York City. I mean, this mm -hmm. is what's going into our oceans. And you talk about plastic straws. The straw um, is one of the top 10 things that's going into the ocean. That's what I was just going to ask you. Out of all of the plastic, why, why straws? I would say to all New Yorkers, after going to the New York Aquarium, go and see the recycling center in Brooklyn. There's 800 tons of recyclables every day that goes through there. And I went there and I asked the people, what do we do with plastic straws? These plastic straws, can't, they're too small. They can't be recycled. They either end up in a landfill or they end up in the oceans. And this is an issue that's really global. I mean, if you, if you really think about what's happening to our planet, plastic straws and plastic writ large is one of those issues that we have control over, that we can do something about. I don't want to come here and be doom and gloom. Mm -hmm. um, the Give a Sip campaign is really about people taking and being empowered to take action. And we've been working with the city of New York and Council Member Espinal. We actually have 17 council members already have co-sponsored the bill. The mayor is very excited and said he will look at the bill and supportive of the concept. We have over 160 businesses that are on board wow. and 120,000 people in about a month and a half have taken the pledge saying that they want to support it. So this is, we've, we've caught on to something. And what's the alternative to the plastic straw? Well, I brought, I, of course I brought, mm -hmm. this is called a paper straw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we all grew up with these things, but it's a different straw than it was mm -hmm. before. It mm -hmm. is really something that can be used. And guess what? Paper straws, great bamboo. Um, as an Italian-American, they have a pasta straw, so I'm very excited <laughs> about that as well. But um, at the end of the day, you don't necessarily need a straw. Let me ask you, because there was there were some news reports this week in other cities that people with disabilities were upset about these yeah. bans. What do you say to those? Because they say that they need plastic straws, um, and, we, and especially for the children. Absolutely. And what we've done is in the legislation itself, in the proposed legislation, we've carved out so that people that have disabilities would be able to get straws. And okay. we've been working very closely and um, happy to announce that there's several medical centers that are going to be coming on board. We take that very seriously. And I do want to want to say one thing about New York. New York is the, I hate to say it, a bit of hubris, it's the capital of the world. And what's mm -hmm. happening here has an impact around the planet. Right. I got a call last night at midnight from Kuching, Malaysia. Uh, my colleagues there in Malaysia, um, the Hilton has announced that they're going to go plastic straw free and they're working now on a similar give a sip campaign there. Well, we look forward to seeing what happens here in New York. Thank, Thank you. you for coming in Thank and explaining all of this. We appreciate it. And you can find out more information at our website. And it's the Give the Sip campaign. We're going to learn about CBS 2 News Saturday morning. We'll be right back. Thank you, John. Thank you so much. Thank you.